We never turn to Let's Play Avernum. You greet Mother Claudette and tell her how you escaped from the mysterious crypt. Good, this knowledge might save the lives of more of our reckless adventurers, followers, whatever. As a reward, she gives you a pair of boots. They belong to one of her less fortunate followers. I guess I had not turned that in last time. Hmm. Why don't I give those to you? Well, no. Let's give those to you. I've got a lot of crap here to sell. Holy crap. Well, let's do that. What did I do last episode? Oh, Christ. I, I've got a lot of stuff. Uh, what do you sell here? A lot of money. Okay, well. I believe one of the only things left to do up here is to go find that hot springs and then head to Fort Draco. Go easy peasy. Fort Draco, 30 miles to the west. Okay, but let's take a look down here. And there's nothing. Let's head back over here. There's supposed to be a dragon in one of these caves, right? a group of hostile creatures. Let's just avoid them. Where am I? Well, I'm not anywhere near the hot springs, but let's just finish exploring this area. I may come to regret this. Really? There's just nothing there? remote cavern and are enveloped in thick clouds of steam. It's hard to see in here, but you manage to make out several natural hot springs. You check the water. It's actually a comfortable temperature. A long hot soak later, you are fully clean and refreshed. These springs are wonderful. Some enterprising Avernite should open a spa here. Okay. So now I need to go all the way back down to Silvar and tell him about these wonderful hot springs. Okay, well I'll do that and I'll come back. Alright. Continues to wipe down the bar. Uh, I found a hot spring. Excellent, thank you for your help. In return for your services, here's a hundred gold. He pays you and treats you to a round of mushroom beer as well. Hopefully one day I will have a resort there, providing expensive services to all Avernites. I didn't even get experience for that. My reputation improved, though. Somewhat liked. Okay. Oh, yes. Because I don't think I've talked to What's-Her-Face yet. No, I, I did. She told me to go kill that Batman, who uh, I'm going to avoid for now. 
While I'm down here, I should probably just go to the Mage Tower, but let's go back up north and finish off those quests. Okay. Continuing on, I am being followed by a bunch of cats. What is this place? There's an abandoned mine here. It's entrance almost, but not quite blocked by rubble. Let's go inside. You try to do a thorough search, but there are too many twisty tunnels. You eventually give up and leave. Now, is this where my cave lore skill would come in handy? You find a mine. Several dozen strong, sweaty men and women are working hard, hauling ore out and empty carts in. They don't give you a second look. They're too busy supplying a vernum with precious, valuable metal. Let's go inside. You enter the mine and poke around for a little while. The operations are crude but effective. Iron ore is chipped out of the walls and hauled out to in carts where it is taken to Fort Draco for processing. Uninvited, you explore for a little while. Soon, however, guards appear and escort you out. I was hoping I could pick up a little iron there. Let's go inside this one. Same thing. Oh, and there my way, damn it. Let's keep going. I hate the pathfinding in this game. There's a fair amount of mining and manufacturing in the Fort Draco area. Thus, understandably, there are plenty of guards wandering around looking to protect the region's wealth. The guards examine you long enough to satisfy themselves that you don't match the descriptions of any known bandits. Then they move on. Get out of my frickin' way. Okay, so what is the purpose of going in there, then? Maybe we'll get a quest at Fort Draco. to Fort Draco. Scroll... Okay, hand to Botel. Before I do that, I'm going to check the outskirts here. Oh, damn it. So apparently I can't walk that way. Okay. Well, let's go inside. You enter Fort Draco, famed source of most of the metal produced in Avernum. Gold is valuable down here, but iron and steel are life. Without them, there are no tools, no picks, no weapons. Fort Draco is vital to Avernum's survival. Maybe I can find some tools here. I think that's what I need, tools and iron anyway. However, such importance comes at a great price for those who live here. Fort Draco is a nightmare of soot and smoke. It's loud and filthy and slag and ore are heaped everywhere. You develop a splitting headache almost immediately. The citizens of Fort Draco are a dirty, hardy crew. Work in the foundry and the mines have made them folk have made these folk strong and self-reliant, and completely encrusted in soot. What is this place? Docks Inn. Open the gut. Ah, oh, you stupid freaking snookum! What lizard? Uh, let's talk to Grant who is a woman. A, that's a strange name for a woman. You see an old woman in ragged black robe. She is having a drink and some bread at the bar, but she keeps looking over her shoulder. She seems to be watching something. Distracted, she says, I'm Grant, wandering sage. Can't talk now. You are a sage? Yes, and not that sort of sage, so don't ask. I can't teach you spells or how to find herbs or stab more efficiently or anything like that. If that's what you're after, I'm and I'm sure it is, go east to Formello. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my familiar right now. It's being very naughty. Then we're going to go meet the dragon. Dragon? Where? Mighty and ancient Motrax lives in a cave to the east. Yes, I know. He welcomes all humans. He actually likes us. Mages from all over go to learn from him. I'm on my way now. If only I can find that naughty, naughty familiar. She turns to continue searching. Is it like an octopus or something? Why she keeps saying that? tentacle beast? She spies a lizard under a table and leaps after it. It gets away. You're trying to find your familiar? Yes, my little lizard. <laughs> That's what they call it. My friend and helpmate, who I won't punish for hiding. No, not at all. She starts to search faster. Sh starts to search faster as she shouts. You hear from behind you something say, yeah, right. She jumps up, running after the sound. 
Uh, you mean this little lizard? You see a small green lizard. It wears a ribbon around its tail and a bell around its neck. Uh, hello, lizard. What are you? Hiss. I'm a familiar. Hiss, hiss. It tries to shake the ribbon off. You're a familiar? For what lizard? Hiss. From her nibs, Grant. What? For her nibs, Grant? What? The one who makes my lifelong string of torment and humiliations. I say hiss. Yeah, whatever. Walks up. What the fuck? Let's talk to Doc. There's a large, genial-looking man wiping up the counter. Everything in the bar, including him, is covered with a thin layer of soot. He nods to you as you approach the bar. I'm Doc. Need anything? Why is everything so dirty? It's not dirt, it's money. Fort Draco is Avernum's primary source of metal of all sorts. A bit of dirt is a small price to pay to keep our little nation growing. Seems reasonable. That's quite polite. I know we're all a bit dirty, but someone has got to do what we do. I have another question. What do you do here? God, you know... <sighs> it is so obvious <laughs> what is going on here. In fact, as soon as I walked in, I was told everything about the town. And the fact that this is an inn should be self-explanatory. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I serve drinks to the rowdies when work lets off. Meals, too. Other than that, I just try to keep things clean. Uh, the rowdies? The miners and the prospectors and the foragers. They're a wild crowd, as you can well imagine. Is there any soot in the ale? Everything in Fort Draco gets soot on it sooner or later. Price we pay for prosperity. Uh, I don't need anything. Ooh, what now? That's just a mop and bucket. But I will root around in your rooms. Sugar? Someone said in the comments that I probably sold the only bag of sugar in the game, and if that is true, I'm pissed. Because I hate having things in my quest log that just sit there. It's bad enough that this mushroom meal one is a repeatable quest. Every time I take her the bag of meal, she pays me, but this thing stays here. Oh, but this other one oh, it just annoys me. Uh, difficulty 11. Damn. So what are we at? Like, 8? Uh, well, she's got a plus 1 from something. I think the trait. What the hell is... Oh, okay, I, I, I see. Never mind. So I've got 9 right now. Damn. Okay. Uh, who is this? Frank. This sooty beggar uses crutches to move down the pathways of Fort Draco. His legs are bent and twisted. He nods numbly to you. I'm Frank, a miner, fallen on hard times. Spare a few coins for my dinner, warrior? Uh, what happened to your legs? I was once a productive member of society, then I got thrown into a vernum. Then I became a productive member of this society. Then my legs got crushed in a mine. Now try to get people to give me a few coppers so I don't die in the street. Sad story, huh? How about a few coins? Okay. You pay him. Thank you very much. You know, beggars hear many interesting things. Would you like to purchase some information? Only 20 more coins. Oh, this is better not be... I mean, I've got plenty of money, so if this isn't... But I just have a feeling that this isn't going to go anywhere. Because <laughs> this game has been like that. -la 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 -la. Okay, I'll buy your information. He takes the coins. Much obliged. Here is what I know. Not all spiders are nasty. There's a bunch of friendly ones across the river and to the north. Met one once not too long ago. She said she was wandering around looking for someone to come help them. She said, ask the spider named Spider about a mission. I know it sounds like I'm raving, but I speak the truth. I swear it. Thank you again for your kindness. Okay. So I've got to go find a spider named Spider. To the north. Now I imagine it's over in this area. 
What is this place? The Foundry. Let's talk to Bill. The heat and noise are almost unbearable. At first, you weren't even sure what species this person is, so thick is the layer of soot covering him. He you shakes your hand, leaving behind a black smear. You look like quite the traveler. I'm Bill, and I've been looking for someone like you. Uh, what are you working on? I run the forge. I keep it from blowing us all to the surface. He has to shout to make himself heard. Quite a forge you have here. Yeah, the best in all of Avernum. Magic and terribly hot. Be careful. And the lava pile pool in the corner here. Would it really blow us all the way up to the surface? Yeah. Well, maybe not that far. But it'll sure make you dead. The forge is a mighty powerful thing. If it blows, they'll feel it at the castle. Uh, it must be difficult running this forge. Not so much. The worst part is keeping the workers motivated. It's hard to get someone to ferry the good cheap wine the laborers like during the off hours. Uh, do they drink a lot of wine? Of course. Hard life up here. He's gonna have me fetch wine. Several episodes ago, I think I sold some wine. I bet it's the only wine in the game. Need something at the end of a hot, sweaty day to help you unwind. The miners love to drink wine and fight. Fights are easy to find, but wine is much more difficult. If we brought you cheap wine, would you buy it from us? Sure, we need a lot of it. If you went down to the Great Cave and got a load of it and brought it back, we could pay you well for it. Remember, we just want cheap wine. None of that fancy Almaria stuff. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think there was some back at... Where was that? Fort Dovno? The Bandit Keep? There might also be some at this Nephilim Fortress. Because I think I left a bunch of stuff. Uh, so now I've got to keep an eye out for... I, I'm just going to start picking up everything. You enter a crude foundry. Ore from the mines around Fort Draco is dumped into the pool of molten stone and metal to the north, where natural heat and magical forces extract the pure iron. Eventually, ingots are molded from the carefully extracted iron. It is amazing that something like this could be constructed down here. Metal is necessary for a Vernum's survival. Uh, Bill and Bill? Let's talk to this Bill. The heat and noises in here are enough to kill a cave cow. You wonder how this person can take it. He's completely covered in soot. Maybe it's filling his ears. He shouts, I'm Bill. Welcome to the foundry. You a merchant? No? What? Well, if you are, you can buy metal here. Uh, what are you responsible for? I shape the ingots so they can be shipped out. You know, Avernum gets all its good metal from here. What's so special about the metal? Well, it's metal. That makes it rare. Down here, I mean. The best mines are around here, so there you go. We got the purest metals. Bill and I keep this pit running. Isn't your name Bill? We're both named Bill, he screams. I'm Bill and he is Bill as well. Uh, what sort of metal do you find? Mostly iron, but there have been a few rare strikes of gold and sometimes lapis lazuli and redstone. What can you do with them? Nothing yet, but we'll figure something out. Okay, um, do you need anything, anything you'd give us money for? We could use some cheap wine, keep the workers happy so you don't have so they don't travel off to other more comfortable cities. Okay, he said I, he says right here that I can buy ingots, but I have no conversation option to buy ingots from him. Instead, I could steal them. A hammer. That is what I need. Bars and hammer. Yes. Hopefully they don't need that hammer. They're gonna need that hammer. I am collecting tools. There are tongs, spoon and towels. Uh, I don't need one that bad. I will be able to find one, I have a feeling. They are actually rather... Uh, rather common. In dungeons, anyway. Ah, here's Botel. You deliver the scroll to Botel. He opens and reads it. A commission to create lab equipment for the Tower of Magi? Very nice. Very profitable indeed. You deserve a proper reward for this intelligence. He gives you a newly made steel breastplate. Wow! That is amazing! Uh, inventory. Holy crap! Look at that. That is terrible. It is so heavy and a minus 15% chance to... Oh, wow. Okay. I guess that goes into here. 
Wow, that was a... This smithy is dominated by an enormous metal anvil. It would take at least ten strong people to lift it, probably more. It's an awesome sight. According to the sign outside, which I'm apparently reading through the wall, it's the property of Botel the smith. I have blades. Ah, huh. you see a massive bearded man covered in what must be an inch of soot. The enormous muscles in his arms almost threaten to tip him over. He says in a deep voice, left raspy by years of smoke inhalation, I'm Botel. Head Smith of Fort Draco. Fine ironwork, fair prices. He leans casually on the largest anvil you've ever seen. What are you making? This is one of the best weapons and armor in Avernum. This is my forge, and I can repair just about anything as well. I'm the best smith outside the Great Cave. Better stuff in the Great Cave? Really? Yes, the Great Cave is far, far to the south of here, and I've heard that the city of Darman has the best steelwork as Navernum. But that's a long trip. You should just buy things from me instead. So what would tax your skill? Nothing I've found yet. Sometimes I wish I could be or could get a real challenge. The sort of things that challenge you. I could repair any weapon you brought me, but I wish someone would bring a really powerful magical weapon to restore. A strongly enchanted weapon is as challenging a repair job as I could hope to find. Okay, I apparently need to find a broken magical weapon. Have I done that already? I want to buy some of your fine weapons. My goodness. Well, I have a feeling this entire episode is going to be dedicated to me going around town, and then I will probably come and kit myself out in my own time. Off screen. Can I sell you anything? I don't want to sell that just yet. Okay. Uh, what has he got around here? Tools? Tools I can steal? He does have a hammer. And an iron helmet. Very nice. He's also got pincers. What's in the box? More iron bars. Is there a way to get to that side of the river from here? The moat? Whatever the heck this is. Okay, let's just keep going down. And, uh, Eif? You see a smiling, dirty woman sitting behind the counter. She wears a very pretty black dress. Because of all the soot in Fort Draco, you can't be sure if the dress was originally black. She says, Welcome, adventurer. I'm Eif. Don't see many of your sort in here. This isn't that sort of business. Unless you have Arania fangs. Uh... What do you do for this town? I'm the town metallurgist, and I dabble in chemicals as well. You would be amazed at how often the cave workers need an alchemist of some sort. What do you do with the metal? The miners dig up the ore, gold, copper sometimes, mostly iron, and bring them here to be analyzed. If I say the ore is okay, then the ore gets processed, mostly into pig iron. But we can even make steel in small quantities. Do you know any alchemy? She smiles. You wouldn't be interested, I'm afraid. The alchemy I do is painfully tedious stuff to the layperson, she thinks. If you need potions made, you can find alchemists in Fort Dovno and the Tower of Magi. Uh, you are interested in Arania things? Ah, yes. The, uh, I see. It's supposed to be like arachnids, arachnia. The ar 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 <sighs> The Arania are a race of vicious, evil spiders which live in the tunnels to the west. They harass the merchants. Very dangerous. I have set up a reward system for anyone killing these creatures. When you find their fangs, bring them to me, and I will pay you 50 coins for each pair. Wow. That's much better than the uh, meal I've been taking to that woman in Formello. Do you have anything for sale? Only my services. If you have any ore or metal that needs to be assayed, I can do that for you. But you don't seem the type. Okay. Ooh, ooh. There is a bounty? Is that what she just said? Hammer! And some scales, a knife I can steal. See, there's a. Oh, there's just a guard. Ah, boats. Am I gonna have to buy another boat? I've got a boat. It's just waiting. Ah. Philea? A woman paces around in this concealed room, lost in thought. When she sees you, she is startled and annoyed. Of course, she snaps. What visit to Fort Draco would be complete without bother bo bleh, bothering Philea? Well, consider her bothered. Move on. Uh, apparently she makes potions. What sort of work are you doing here? Research. Please go away. 
Uh, can you make a potion for me? She shudders at the force of your insult. What are you asking of me? A love potion? Something to make the cow happy? I am no hedge wizard. Leave me be. You know, maybe I could give you something. I've got some stuff. Chest. It's too complicated, so... She is part of something important, I have a feeling. Healing potion, okay. Um... Who can use that? Well... Give that to you. Okay. Man, she has got so many wands and crap. I really need to start using that stuff in combat. Well, she's the friendly sort. I'm sure I'll come back. Uh, what does this sign say? Reward for... F ah, I see. Brandon's Boats. Hammers. I'm just going to take all your hammers. Maybe I should just take all of this. Just in case. Yeah, let's take the saws. Let's just take it all. You never know what those bastards are going to ask for. So, uh, I only need one more iron bar. And then I can go back and turn in this quest. You see a small man with short blonde hair. He wears a belt laden with tools. He must be the boat right of Fort Draco. He nods to you as you enter. Welcome to my shop. I am Brandon, and I'm the only source of boats for traveling the northern river. Only 300 coins. Uh, nice boats. What are they for? Mostly shipping ore. Very handy. Only 300. Let me know if you want to buy one. Very well made. Won't spring a leak and leave you drowning in icy waters. If you want to sail up here, I'm the only option. Uh, the only option? I'm the only person who sells boats for use on this river. It's a neat river, lots of caves off it. Just be careful of the sliths. And if I don't want to ship ore? There's some caves up here that can only be reached by boat. Lots of isolated tunnels. Great for prospectors and adventurers who can't keep their noses out of trouble. Uh, I want one. Pay him 300 coins. He counts them and then counts again. Excellent. You can have one of the boats at the dock outside. Be sure to explore the river outside. I'm sure there's lots of interesting things. Let's go claim one. That is my boat now. Okay. So now I can go look at all those things I was uh, unable to get into earlier. Let's come back and check out this main hall. Ooh, this looks like a storehouse. Sugar? This huge open building is filled with heaps of raw ore. Each pile is marked with a small sign indicating who owns it. This must be where the miners bring their valuable ore, freshly chipped from the stone walls of Averno. Hammer! Trowel. I'm just gonna take everything that looks valuable. Or doesn't look valuable, as the case may be. Cows! The barracks. Guard, guard, guard. Money. Ale, not wine. I need wine. Uh, more money. Thread. There looks like there is a secret passage. Quick save. Okay. I, I disarmed the trap. Ah, another. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Restless spirit. Can you be affected by physical attacks? I guess I'll find out. Blade sweep. Missed. Alright. Uh, smite. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Missed. Okay. Just the spirit can be attacked physically. So, I kind of thought this would open up into that room there. Well, let's check out back here. A body. A leather helmet. Chainmail. Coins. Invulnerability potion. Oh my goodness. I will take you. Um. Everyone else is wearing a helmet, though. So I don't really need that. I guess I'll just take it all for, uh, Jump. 
Okay, that really... Ah, and there's the secret panel. Aha! I'm gonna save, just in case this is full of other undead creatures. Wow. Well, no one's gonna see me. Okay, well, uh, I can't open it from this side, even though I've gone through it. Okay, well, uh, let's check out this little, uh, area down here. It looks like prisoner's stuff. Bandage. Shackles. Go in. Secret. Oh, I, I missed one. I'm so smart. You know what? I'll have you take that. And use it. Wow, really? Ah, wrong one. Damn you, mouse. Okay, fine. Well, uh, I don't really need that, but she can have it. Whatever. here? Ah! <laughs> I just walked into a bunch of pen lizards. I have a feeling that these belong to the garrison. Why don't you come in here? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Do I have a... Well, I've got this. And is she going to be able to do anything? Whoops, I don't have free spells. Okay, level up. She does have a, uh, an extra... Can I get into there and still attack? Nope. <laughs> I was hoping to use her sweeping ability. Uh, Cordelia does have the advanced, um, well, not, not advanced, but the extra experience gain. Okay. Proves your chances to hit with missile weapons, but it, even, okay, mm. Let's do endurance. Why not increase that? And then I also want her to... That could be good. I really wish I there. I can. Improve strength, sure hand. Increase your ooh. Because I, I am missing more than I would like. Okay, let's do that. I'm sure that was a waste. I'm sure I... <laughs> I really should just go look for... Uh... Okay, wait a minute. What was I saving up for? Is there to learn from someone else? I need nine. Right, I need to go to eleven to get this. Right, right, right. So... Dexterity... One there. 
Should I keep my arcane? I think my arcane lore is actually high enough. She uses bows a lot, though, so... Why don't we do that? I could increase my sword mage again so she could actually wear that heavier armor. Healing blessing. Let's do summoning, and I'll try and focus on actually using that in combat a bit more often. In fact, why don't I just use it now? Giant lizard, okay. Well... Aha! A spiritist. Um, let's try leg sweep. I won't be able to make it up to him, but let's try... Okay, you would go on that side, wouldn't you? Um, actually, yeah, let's get in here, do a normal attack, and then I can use that blade sweep. I doubt I'll need this. I mean, the cat people are very, very, uh, weak. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use a thing. something. Cave Widow. I don't know. I, uh, that was probably stupid. Okay. Well, I was... I was not poisoned, at least. Wow. <laughs> His summoned pet was stronger than he was. Okay, now you were poisoned, that's... F uh, damn it. Will you just kill it? It's a goddamn spider! Um... Oh. Okay. Boots. Ooh. Nice boots. Plus 10% poison resistance. Less armor, though, so who do I want to give that to? This has the same armor. Gives him poison resistance. You know what? Why don't you have it? Uh, what's over here? Same stuff. Okay. Well, am I going to want to tell someone that I found some uh, cat people underneath the city? Is that part of a quest? There's a shovel. Should I pick that up? Yes. Yes, I should. Anything that looks like a labor device, I should pick up. Alright, well, let's see if anyone needs to know about that. Guards don't care. Carlos is meat and munchies. Dr. Carlos, you meet the proprietor of this small food shop. He's very busy. He has to deal with customers, make the food, and try to keep the ever-present soot flakes from getting into the flour. 
When you enter, he inspects you very closely. He seems very interested in your weaponry and armor from a sim for a simple merchant. He gives you a little smile and says, I'm Carlos. Welcome to my shop, stranger. Are those your cave cows running around outside, down the streets, tormenting everyone? Yes, sir. I love them dearly. Even more when it's time for one of them to make the ultimate sacrifice. Why, I raised them since they were calves. That reminds me. I need some more veal. You could buy rations. You could get meat, bread, and the like from me if that's what you would like. You seem like someone who travels, who does things. You must know an awful lot about the caves around here. Yes, yes I do. Okay, uh, you call me stranger? I did, not to worry. We get a lot of strangers up here. They are welcome. They bring business. But sometimes strangers have to seem to have more potential. Potential for what? He looks you over again, then he nods. I think I've heard enough about your travels that it's worth asking. I think you have potential to make changes, to help Avernum, to face down the Empire. What say you to that? Um... I have no love for the Empire. I thought not. There are others who feel the same way. They travel under the symbol of the Scimitar. If you ever want to stop running, stop hiding. Go west to Barga in the Abyss. Speak to the barkeep. You might learn much of interest. Now excuse me, I have much to do. Okay, interesting. So I'm kind of... I can actually look inside the oven. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of uh, a double agent now because I'm working for that one woman who is like an assassin. Mm, don't need to steal that right now. And then I'm also working for... Oh, he's uh, he's gone. Oh no, he's right there. What the hell? Is he going to get out of the way? So I can get into... Just come in there, cow. Fine, that's fine. Get out of the way. Sue supply and laundry. What's on the ground around here? A shovel, I'll take it. A pick, I'll take that. Actually, no, I already turned in the pick. I don't need that. <sighs> I got plenty of rope, I have a feeling. Robe. Scissors. I'll take them. I'll take the thread, too. Sue. You see a beautiful woman with long brown hair and an astonishing variety of freckles. Strangely, both her and her shop are free of soot. Welcome, she says when you enter. I'm Sue. I offer both laundry and supplies. Most travelers around here can make use of both. Uh, what do you do in this town? I sell supplies to the miners and such, and also to the adventurers that come this way. I also run a laundry service for the locals. What sort of supplies do you sell? Well, mining supplies mostly. Stuff you wouldn't be interested in. But I do have some things you might like to buy. She presses off a box with her hand. You notice that the store is amazingly clean. How do you keep your store so clean? She seems pleased that you noticed. Yes, I used to spend all my time keeping things neat, but then I found out how reasonably priced dirt repulsion spells are. This is why everyone brings me their dirty clothes for cleaning. My shop is the only place clean enough to get the job done. The job might not be glamorous, but let's just say it's well worth my time. So, uh, can I buy some of your supplies? Bandage is a beautiful crystal. It's got a value of 100, and she is selling it for 250. Utterly ridiculous prices. Indeed. Nothing I needed there. Uh, how about my laundry done? What is this going to do for me? She lets out a sigh. That looks like a job, but all right. While you wait, she cleans your clothes and scrubs your armor. When you leave, you are very shiny. Well, that... Oh, okay. But what does that do for me? Is that going to give me options for talking to people, maybe? Ah, maybe I'll be more, more, uh, um, let, let's go talk to this woman real quick. More presentable, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, no. Nope, not at all. So I still don't know how to get that to go anywhere. Uh, let's talk to the elite archer. The guards of Fort Draco are constantly on this 
alert for Nephilim brigands and slith Zerakai raiders. They don't have enough time to in or interest to speak with you. Okay, uh, what's in your box? That's what he said. Okay, well, I've got to walk out of here with one... Oh, never mind. I've got plenty of bars of iron. I stole them all. Okay. So, uh... There was this one way over here. Holy crap. I'm not going all the way over there just yet. I will go turn in this quest. This giant thing is still way out of my... way out of my league. Maybe I'll have to go to the castle after this because I didn't seem to get anything... Oh, yes! Somewhere around here are the spiders, and I just bought a boat so I can go look around this. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go head down first, and then I'll come back up here. Okay, I found, just out of town here, I found a little pathway. This large cave is filled with spider webs, strung from stalagmite and st from stalagmite to stalagmite. The webs are new and occupied. Fortunately, the large spiders hanging from the strands don't seem to be paying any attention to you, so let's go check this body. There's a body hanging from the webs here, long ago sucked dry. Through the thick white husks surrounding the carcass, you can see a bone wand still in the corpse's hand. Take it. You cut through the husk and retrieve the wand. Your actions cause the webs to vibrate. The vibrations attract the hung attention of several visitors. They're hungry. Oh my, what are those? Ah, I can get fangs from you. Fantastic. Now, spiders are tough. I want to get in here so I can use my blade. Well, you know what? The spiders aren't so damn tough at all. What the shit? I go chasing after the one that is very difficult. And then these ones just squish real easy. Easily. Holy crap. Well, we definitely want to take care of those first. Um. Oh yeah, I've forgotten that Mycroft had... Let's see how tough a hellhound is. It's not too bad. I'm probably a lot tougher than I think, actually because I've leveled quite a bit. But then again, the ogre and giants still stomp me every time. Okay, so uh, continuing on. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that's two turns. That'll go. That'll go quick. Let's increase the endurance. Feels like a waste of time, honestly. Priest spells. Increase that. Nimble fingers, sword mage, summoning, healing focus. I don't really need that. I could increase my intelligence. Let's do a fast recovery. Um, right. I wanted to add some defense for him. I think I will add more to that. Hmm. Okay, I'll do this. I'll make him an actual tank now. Alright, so heading back down to... Silvar, I guess. Wait a minute. What is this place? Oh, right. This is where the, uh... The giant and ogre gangbang is. Okay. I found another place. 
You are in a swampy outcropping in the middle of a large stagnant pool. The smell is awful. You discover a small patch of bright green moss. Some of the tufts are quite fresh and you recognize them as the variety used in healing potions. I will take them. Okay. This is just a large area. Um, right there. Alright. There is Ephraim. You deliver the equipment to Ephraim. After inspecting it and verifying its quality, he pays you with a generous pouch of silver coins and a pretty nice broadsword. Uh, a bronze broadsword. I actually... Where'd I get this oozing wand from? I mean, there's the bronze... bronze sword. What? Who... oh, right. He, he has it. Uh, oozing wand, yeah. Where the hell did I pick that up from? Let's go look at the job board. Tongs and pincers. So I need both. Been asked to work spears and halberds to defend off the enemies of Silvar. I will pay in coin for three tongs and three pincers. I, I left behind all the tongs. Oh my god. So I can get rid of the hammers now, anyway. Oops. And, uh, maybe those bo- well, I'll, I'll hang on to those. Trowels, shovels, no! You know what? I, I, uh... I already picked those up. Right. So now I need to go find tongs and- oh, good lord. Okay, um... I think that's enough for this episode, so I will see you guys next time.